Hi, Susan Pierre from the Life School team. Let's go ahead and walk through a Life School teacher account together. Now, when you're at lifeschoolapp.com, you can log in using your email and password, like I am here, or you can log in through Clever. In this case, I'm going to go with email and password, which is going to direct me to my dashboard. Now, while you're in the dashboard, you can give points and you can give rewards. You can see students' recaps, look at some neat data points and trends under insights, see where our house standings are. You can also print reports and change some settings under your account setup. So let's first start by giving points to students. You'll see the first roster you were last working with, and you can switch to other grade levels as well by clicking into the roster picker and finding other grades or finding other teacher rosters. Once you see the roster you'd like to give points to, you can choose one student and give a point, or you can click on multiple students to give a point, and also to give multiple points for different behaviors. Notice that I've given merits, and every time I give merits, the student's green bubbles increase by the points given. You can also give demerits if students aren't on track or following expectations. This creates a red bubble indicating wow. students have earned demerits. Your school is going to decide if demerits are going to be subtracted from their total accounts or just noted. You can also provide additional context for a point. And so when you're adding a point to a student, you can add a comment that adds more detail. If you often use the same comments, you can also save them for later. Now, once you've added the comment, you also have the option to change the day and time of the point uh, in case this is something that happened at a previous time and day. And this way, all the points you're giving will appear in the correct timeline. You can change the points you're looking at by choosing when you'd like to see points earned. So right now, when you're looking at the time frame, I'm looking at today's points, but I could also be looking at yesterday's, this month, or this week's points. I could also see whether or not this is set to all teachers or points given just by me. To find out how a student has earned points, you can click on the name and choose timeline for that student. You're gonna see a full walkthrough of all the points that they've received, who gave them the points, as well as any comments associated with that point. And it's here that you can delete points as well. If students are absent, you can also mark them as absent. This ensures that when you use the select all feature, or the randomizer, an absent student will not be chosen. Absent students will be marked across all the rosters you're using, but marked present for other teachers to avoid confusion. There are other tools available on the action bar, like a student's dashboard. You can access that by clicking on a student, clicking on more, and then clicking on dashboard. This is going to show you their positive points, their demerits, their positive to negative ratio, how much they've earned and how much they've spent. You can also see a graph of their timeline of points earned and demerits earned as well. You'll also be able to see their top behaviors as well as the teachers who've awarded the most points to that student and the rewards that they've purchased. In addition to finding a student by clicking on their name, you can also search for them in the search bar itself. And doing so, you can award points just as you would from the regular point screen. You can also scan a QR code if you don't know that student or they're not in one of your classes. If you have this QR code for that student, it's going to bring up their rubric just like you would if you search directly in the search bar. So now my students have some points. It's time to recognize their hard work. So you can go to rewards and this is going to show you the total number of points students have received minus any rewards that they've purchased. Also, if your school subtracts for demerits, it'll take away from this point total as well. So let's say here that Adrian wants to purchase a reward from the reward store. Choose a reward that Adrian wants to buy. So in this case, maybe a dance party and ice cream. You can choose multiple rewards as well. 
and the sum of the total points will show up on the bottom and the points will be automatically deducted from Adrian's account. Similar to the point screen, if you want a play-by-play -play of all of the points that Adrian has purchased, you can click on a student's name and look at the timeline and see all the rewards that were purchased. You can also choose to use the fast checkout feature as well. This is incredibly useful if students are buying the same reward. So for example, you can access this also under the more button and clicking on fast checkout. For example, I can give out perhaps candy bars to students who want to buy them. And you can choose the students who want candy bars and the yellow also indicates how many times that student has purchased that particular reward. Also, students may be marked with insufficient funds if they do not have enough points to buy that particular reward. So after choosing all of the students who want to buy a candy bar, you can charge them all, it'll ask you to confirm, and all of them will be charged at once. Now that we've given students points and rewards, it's time to keep families in the loop. One way is through recaps. If your school has turned on recaps, you can see them as they go out to families and students. You can search for a specific student recap here. And when you click on view recap, it's going to give you an overview of all the things that happened for the student in that time period. For example, what are their top behaviors and who provided the most points for those behaviors. You can choose that by clicking on the timeline. This recap automatically goes out on the day your school has chosen between five to nine local time. Now that I've recorded many points for students as well as rewards, it's time to check out our insights. So insights gives graphical like displays through dashboards, Excel like spreadsheets through scoreboards, as well as a full timeline of everything that's happened. So starting with the dashboard, here you'll be able to see high level data. For example, looking into a school dashboard, you'll be able to see the total number of points, demerits, the ratio, points earned and uh, spent. You'll also be able to see who your top students are, as well as your top behaviors and top teachers as well. Diving deeper into all of these, if you want to see who the top students are, you can click on the see all button and it's going to lead you to a Excel like spreadsheet or our scoreboards. You can choose a specific date. Uh, in this case, you can choose this month. You can also filter by a specific behavior or category by adding a filter. So choosing the respect category, once I add that to the filter, it'll show the top points earned for students in that category. You can also see the number of times students have been awarded a point as opposed to the number of points awarded by choosing the weight of points on or off. You can do this in the settings here. So you can have weight by points on or off. If you leave it on, it's going to multiply any behavior by the total number of points in your rubric that the behavior is worth. You can download this information in the bottom right corner as a PDF. You can also set up a filter to only show certain students, such as those who have received only, let's say, seven or more merits in respect. And once you add that filter, it'll give you a shortened list of students, and you'll be able to see just those who have earned more than seven. Diving into any of these numbers is going to show you that particular student's timeline. This shows the teacher who provided the point, what day and time, whether they provided it singularly or with other students, and whether that was the only point the student received or if they received another point at the same time. You can change the filters on this screen as well to see either just the merits if you would like, or you can also add or remove certain items from the behavior categories list. You can also filter out different students or just to see a specific teacher. Another great place to check in insights is your own teacher dashboard. 
going back in the dashboards and clicking into teacher, this is going to give you a high level overview of how you're doing, how many points that you've given, both merits and demerits, the ratio that you've been providing to students, and how many points that they've earned and spent. You'll also be able to see who your top students are and the top behaviors you recognize. Once you're done looking at all the reporting, you can check in on house points. How are your students doing compared to each other? Display the house points dashboard set by your school for a certain time period and cheer on for your favorite team. In this case, the Emerald team is in the lead. Because the Emerald team is in the lead, you can share that with your students to keep them engaged and motivated. In addition to house points, you can print out reports to send home with students and families through printables. So going back to the main menu and clicking on printables, you can choose a specific time range, such as this uh, past week here, and select a layout. You can select either simple or paycheck. And then you also have the option to show their bank accounts or not, QR codes or not, and select the group of students, either individual students that you would like to search for, or a specific grade or a roster. Each report will have all the information, which you can then print as a PDF for students. Each student will have their own page, and it's gonna show all of their point totals for that time period, as well as all of the preferences set here. Finally, you have your setup. Here, you can change your account settings, and this includes all students listed in your school. And you can sort by first name, last name, grade, their point balance, their last login, as well as parent sign up. You can make changes as needed, so clicking into Victor's account. If Victor's last name is incorrect, then you can also edit that there. You can also change which rosters students are assigned to. If Victor isn't supposed to be in Miss Litton's Cool House roster, you can simply unassign him from that roster and add him to a different roster. So maybe in this case, uh, Barracudas. You can also update staff accounts and rosters as well. And if your school allows, you can edit the reward store by adding new rewards to the reward store. So when you click on add new reward, you'll be able to add a name, price, and description of that specific reward. And students will be able to see these when they log in. If you often see a group of students, you can create a new roster as well by clicking into users, sites, and rosters. And then once that loads, you can create a new roster and typing in a name for your new roster. Once you have that roster set up, then you'll have options to add students to that roster. And once you add students to that roster, you'll now be able to access them under the roster picker in either points and rewards. So that's a full walkthrough of your account. If you need help, you can click on the yellow button for support. You can either send us a message, look at some of our help articles, or schedule a time to chat with us. Let us know if you have any questions and thanks for using LiveSchool.